Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 29th of 2022. Well, it is titled Sophia's Southern Lights. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image of the aurora. And we have aurora in both the northern and southern hemisphere. We tend to call we call the ones in the northern hemisphere aurora borealis or the northern lights and the ones in the southern hemisphere aurora australis or the southern lights. Now the process by which they form is the same and that is charged particles from the sun that strike the Earth's magnetic field. Now charged particles will travel along the magnetic field lines and then strike Earth's atmosphere where those magnetic field lines come into the atmosphere. So our, our magnetic field serves as a buffer from high energy charged particles from space keeping them from striking the atmosphere directly. But it does focus them along the magnetic field lines and they will hit the atmosphere close to the north and south magnetic poles. And that's why we see them generally at far northerly and far southerly latitudes. So you don't generally see an aurora in the equatorial regions or even regions like the southern parts of the United States, which are relatively far south closer to the not super close to the equator, but closer to the equator. Now here in this image, we see them from up above the surface. We're used to looking them from the ground and seeing the patterns up in the sky. Here we are looking at them from an aircraft. And this is the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. Infrared light does not penetrate our atmosphere very well. And that's because things like water especially are very good at absorbing infrared light. And that makes it very difficult to observe from the ground. Now we do have some infrared observatories on very high mountains when the, where the atmosphere is relatively dry so that uh, infrared can be observed. But we also use SOFIA which is an aircraft that travels up above most of Earth's atmosphere and it carries a telescope in it and allows it to then see the infrared light. Now here we're not looking at infrared light from distant space but actually looking into and seeing some of the aurora as well that we're looking that we're looking at here. So in this case it was traveling at a very far southerly latitude of actually very far south at, of New Zealand. So about 62 degrees southerly latitudes. And that way it was able to observe the aurora that we see in our image for today. So that was our picture of the day for July 29th of 2022. It was titled Sophia's Southern Lights. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be an eagle rises. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.